somebody today that God said it's time for you to put your foot on it. Say, preacher, what are you talking about? Somebody has been feeling down. Somebody's been feeling distressed. Somebody's been feeling disappointed. Somebody's been feeling confused. Somebody has felt like something has had its foot on your neck trying to choke the life out of you. Not killing you, but cutting off your breath. Making it hard to breathe. Taking the joy out of your life. But I've come to tell somebody this morning that you don't have to live like that. That you can put Put your foot on the devil's neck this morning. Uh, the time is going to come where the tables have to turn. Positions have to change. Uh, you're going to have to come out from under the circumstances that you're living in and know that God is in control. Uh, Amen. So here's a story here in the Bible where Joshua had these kings and, and, and they were fighting this war. And before Joshua killed these kings, the Bible said that he told the captains of Israel to come over and put their foot on these kings' neck. And when they would do that, after they put their foot on the king's neck, Joshua killed them. He slew them. And the Bible said that he hung them in trees, in five different trees. And the reason he done that was to show everybody that God could take control over it. But before he did that, what was the purpose of him having these five captains of Israel come over and put their foot on the neck of those kings? I never figured the story out out until I was watching two dogs fight one time. These two dogs were fighting. Actually, I was at Bernie's house and he had some bulldogs uh, and these bulldogs were fighting. They they were brothers uh, and, and, and they were over, we over in his backyard and, and one come out and the other one come out and they started fighting and they ripped each other's jaws and well, why finally DC, the other one got on top of the other dog uh, and he would grab him with his mouth and put his mouth on his neck uh, and the other one would surrender uh, when that dog uh, was on top of the other because he knew that he lost control. He knew he lost the fight. He knew that once that other person had him by the neck, uh, he could kill him instantly. Uh, so what he done was that dog would put enough pressure on its neck uh, that the other one would quit fighting. Uh, you know what the devil does to us sometimes. He'll come in our life and we'll be fighting with the enemy and the devil will come and he'll put pressure on us and he'll grab us by the neck and he'll try to destroy us. He'll try to kill us. He'll try to take us down. But I've come to tell you tonight that you can put your foot on the devil's neck. Why Amen. did Joshua tell these captains before he killed them? Joshua pulled these kings out of the cave. They had already been captured. They had already been dead. They, I mean, they had already knew they was going to die. And before Joshua killed them, uh, he told those five captains of Israel to put your foot on the king's neck. Uh, you know why? He wanted them to have a personal experience to know uh, that they could defeat the enemy. Uh, can Amen. I tell you if God wanted to tonight, uh, today he could take his uh, hand and wipe out the enemy. Uh, he could kill your adversaries. Uh, he can make them bow down. Uh, but God doesn't want to do that. You want to know why? Uh, he wants Want you to know that you can defeat the enemy. You can right. defeat the devil. And he right. wants you to have a personal experience to know that you can put your foot on the devil's neck. Maybe I'm just preaching to these four walls today, but surely there's somebody that's been going through something. Been fighting depression. Been fighting discouragement. Been fighting all kinds of problems and family problems. And I've come to tell somebody it's time to change positions and put your foot on the devil's neck. Let the devil Amen. know that he doesn't yes. have control no more. Yes. Amen. God before me, who can be against me? Come on. I yep. to tell somebody, the Bible said that when he left, he has given us all power. We got power to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. We got power to say in the name of Jesus and every devil's got to go. Right. What am I trying to yep. tell you? Yes, God has the power, but he has given us the power. He has given us the power to overcome the enemy. He has given us the power to overcome sickness. He has given 